There's something that I want to ask you, Eric. What is it? This might sound sudden and impulsive, but we have hardly got any time to spend with each other. We are constantly switching between cities, and I have to leave for France in two days for an international shoot. So what are you saying, Emma? I think... Eric looked at Emma with a look of seriousness on his face. He could not make out what was going on in her mind. He waited for her to finish her sentence. I think you should come to France with me. What? That's what you wanted to ask me? <laughs> yes, what did you think? Emma burst out laughing as Eric relaxed his stance. He thought Emma was going to take a drastic step and was tense, but Emma was just playing a prank on him to lighten his mood. She looked at him sheepishly and he went to hug her. You are becoming unpredictable and playful by the day. What's a marriage without some fun? But I am serious about Paris. In fact, I think we should accompany each other whenever we go abroad. That way we will not be apart and be able to take care of each other as well. Eric thought about what Emma said. He had traveled across the globe multiple times, but it was always for work. If Emma was with him, it would give him a chance to relax and they will be able to spend quality time together as well. You're right. I will have Luke make the arrangements. Emma was happy and got back to the H-World Entertainment's profile as Eric called up Luke. She would not let this chance go to waste for Eric's sake and for hers. Do you know what day it is tomorrow, Emma? Nathan's birthday. Why? Nothing. I was wondering if you wanted to do something for your cheating ex. I would rather give that money to charity than waste it on that idiot. Lisa laughed at Emma's changed nature. Earlier, Emma would have spent many days preparing gifts for Nathan and throwing him big parties when they were together. But Nathan would always ditch those plans to spend the night with Amber, and Emma would have to stay awake waiting for him. Lisa was glad that Emma did not have to go through that ordeal again. Do you know that the person Nathan has hired has hampered your contract with Star Age? Yes. What are you planning to do about that? Now that Global won't survive for much longer, you need to decide between Star Age and Creative Century. Which one will you choose? Neither. Eric wants me to join H-World. Oh my god, I love Eric. He comes up with the best solutions and always has a trick up his sleeve. And a superstar like you deserves a company like H-World to represent you. Lisa felt relieved. She wanted Emma to succeed, and that's why she was stressed about her decision of choosing the right agency. But it seemed like Emma was always two steps ahead. While Ariel and Amber were trying to scheme Emma out of contracts with her other companies, Emma had her sights on bigger fish. What was the big emergency, George? Let's go to my office. So, as you will be flying to Paris for the shoot soon, there's another event that we have lined up for you there. Oh, what is it? You have been invited to walk the runway at a fashion event for the launch of Luxury's latest collection. I am sure you know how prestigious that brand is. We are planning to use one of your poses from the runway for our October cover. This will be a great chance for you to re-enter the international scene. Emma froze at George's words. She could not believe that her hard work had paid off at this level. She had been wanting to re-enter the international scene, and to do it in this manner was a dream come true. Oh my god, George! Thank you so much! Your low-key manager was the one who suggested it, so no need to thank me. Just make me proud. Emma hugged George on the way out. When she told Lisa the news later, Lisa jumped up and down with joy. Do you want to break the good news to the birthday boy on his birthday? Let Nathan and Global enjoy their last few days of happiness. Both are going down soon. I do want to celebrate the news with somebody else, though. Can you drop me back home, please? Amber, do you know what day it is today? Amber suddenly froze. Today was the day she had secretly agreed to meet Mr. Mark Whitaker in a hotel. Why was Nathan asking her about it? Had he found out about her affair? She tried to play it off cool. You know, Nathan, because of the pregnancy, I have been having all sorts of trouble remembering information. Can you tell me what it is? You will find out soon enough. I am so sorry, Nathan. Because of the pregnancy, I completely forgot about your birthday and did not get you a gift. Let me make it up to you sometime. Amber came close to Nathan and twirled her fingers on his chest. She knew using the baby would work in her defense. It always worked on Nathan. That's okay. I know you're going through a lot with the pregnancy. Do you think Emma sent you something? Should we hold a lunch for all the staff and call her? She will have no option but to show up. Okay, go for it. 
Amber snatched the phone from Nathan and dialed Emma's number. It was picked up and before waiting for an answer, Amber started to blabber. Hi, Emma. As you know, it's Nathan's birthday today. We are holding a lunch for all the staff members and would appreciate your presence there. Please be on time. I am sorry, Amber. Emma's busy with a shoot. She will not be able to make it. Oh, do you know who you're talking to? Emma is in a contract with Global Pictures and must do as told. Look, Amber, I know you would like to show your overt affection for Nathan in front of her, but frankly, she has a lot of other things going on which need her attention. Thank you. You? Lisa smiled to herself and cut the call. Emma saw Lisa smiling and nodded at her. This would be Global Pictures' final celebration. Amber helped Nathan into bed. As she was unbuttoning his shirt, her phone started to ring. It was Mark Whitaker. Amber rushed to the bathroom to take the call. Mr. Whitaker, I thought we had canceled for today. Do you want to deal with Creative Century or not? I'm in the same hotel, room 29, floor 13. Come now, if you want to make it big. Amber grappled with what she should do. She took another look at Nathan and decided that he would not even know that she was gone. She had to do this for her deal. She made her way to the 13th floor, but she never expected Nathan to wake up in the middle of the night and start looking for her. Did you see Miss Lee coming down? The woman who had come down with me? I'm worried for her and cannot find her. Her phone is switched off as well. Oh, all right, sir. Would you like to take a look at the CCTV footage? Nathan viewed the footage and to his shock, he saw that Amber had gone into another room on the 13th floor. The receptionist and the staff felt pity for Nathan. Sir, would you like us to come with you? Are you okay? It's fine. Nathan already knew what to expect. His body shook violently as he reached the 13th floor. He did not remember knocking on the door of room 29, but when it opened and Amber opened the door, Nathan's rage erupted. She was only in a nightgown and behind her, Mr. Whitaker was fast asleep. Nathan, how I can... Nathan slapped her and she fell to the floor. He wanted to walk past her into the room, but Amber stopped him. No, Nathan, you cannot wake him. Please, he will give me the contract. You have to go. Taking a painful, anguished look at Amber, Nathan walked away. Amber had tears in her eyes. As Amber struggled to get up from the floor, Mr. Whitaker's strong hands lifted her up. Don't worry, dear. You don't need him anyway. Let's go back to bed. What will Nathan do now? Will he punish Amber for what she did? Will he try to win back Emma to find out what happens next? Hi guys, Emma here. Don't let your excitement die. The full audio series is on the Pocket FM app. Tap the link in the description to install now.